is I really want to de deliver a cracking whip of a blow. I need timing. Timing for athletes. This applies to any athletic movement where you're trying to generate kinetic potential and translate it into power, speed, explosiveness. Before we begin, subscribe to our channel for more learning such as this and share it with as many people as you can who you consider to be athletes or that you think can benefit from information like this. Subscribe and share. Timing is everything. That's why we talk a lot about rhythm. If you don't have rhythm as an athlete, you won't have much explosiveness, speed, power, agility. You might have strength, but in order for that strength to translate into power, you need rhythm, you need timing. If I give this to somebody and say, just hit this as hard as you can. The minute they think, okay, as hard as I can, for most people, from back here, they're already applying strength which is a waste of energy because you're trying to apply the power here. So back here, you should be relaxed. It's just like going into a jump. If you tell a lot of athletes, jump as high as you can. If you look at a lot of vertical jump tests, you know those things where you have to go and smack the thing. In basketball players, you'll see them, they're trying to get as high as they can. So right from the start, there's like a huge effort way too early. Where the best jumpers, the most intuitive jumpers, are more relaxed and they know right at the percent, at the precise time when to punch, to unweight their body up into the air. So it's the same thing with this. There's no point in me trying to muscle through this if I really want to de deliver a cracking whip of a blow, I need timing. It's at a relaxed back here, and then as I'm about to strike it, here is just unweighting, it's light. What you're trying to do is become weightless so that that weightlessness can translate into acceleration. And the acceleration, contrary to popular belief, does not come from your muscle effort, it comes from gravity. Your muscle effort is used to reposition your body so that the, the stick, which is an extension of your body, or the ball, which you're trying to throw, which is an extension of your body, or the bat, whatever it is, is an extension of your body that you're trying to transfer the acceleration of gravity through. So instead of trying to accelerate the stick with my arm and then developing rotator cuff injuries, what happens to a lot of throwers, you need to learn how to completely relax, not become lax. You need to be relaxed and focused in your delivery, your transmission of the power. My timing, when I need to deliver the blow, is bang on. Instead of trying to do this and then tiring myself out, I can deliver a whole bunch of striking blows with great power if I know how to relax and use timing efficiently. Okay, so going back to the jump, people will say, okay, well jumping, obviously it's your muscle force. No, it's not my muscle force pushing into the ground. It's a waste of energy. I need my energy to go in the direction I want to go, which is up. Why would I put force down when I'm trying to go up? Any downward force is reflexive. It's a consequence, it's not the intent. The intent is I'm trying to go up. So what happens first is I have to accelerate down. Even if I want to just jump from here, if you play it in very sl slow motion, you will still see there's a dip. And the dip is not to apply force into the ground. The dip is to accelerate. And then I need to be able to translate that acceleration in the direction that I want to go by unweighting. And that's relaxing. If I unweight, instead of unweighting, I'm pushing down, I'm tense, I'm not going to jump as high. But if I accelerate downward and then unweight relaxed, where my shoulders are like flying and I become unweighted, then I can get a lot more height with a lot less effort. So this is thinking of pushing into the ground.
which is just a way, which is tiring. And this is just using timing and unweighting, lifting myself up, okay? are timing is everything start to be more aware of your timing if you're an athlete you want to be more powerful faster more agile then work on your rhythm that will help you a ton you can see that the best athletes the most intuitive responsive um, athletes have rhythm it's like Muhammad Ali dancing in the ring in the ring or watch Bruce Lee move an impeccable sense of rhythm, okay? Basketball players have better rhythm with their move. You look at a, like an Iverson crossover, you, you, you actually use the terminology, they're dancing, they're dancing with the ball, or they're dancing around players, because that's what it is, it's musicality, it's rhythm, and it's, it's about timing. The second takeaway point is try to develop your perception of, instead of using your muscular force to apply power, Try to develop your perception of using the acceleration of gravity, the free energy that's available to you, okay? Yes, you need muscular force. Your muscles need to be strong to support your body weight to facilitate this whole process happening. Don't consciously apply muscle force to apply power. You just try to use, to relax, and use the free power that's available to you. And that way your body will work a lot more naturally you'll be able to get more effortless power and speed, and probably most importantly, you won't get injured as much or as badly. You won't develop chronic injuries from simply moving with poor biomechanics over the course of your athletic activities. Hope that helps you.